expansion of table games is that a proportion of those proceeds uh, from the six uh, Prince George's County will in fact go uh, to support our investment um, in our recreation centers. Um, additionally, um, there are ways in which program open space is used um, to support recreational activities. So there are ways in which the state can support and in fact that we do support and that it's very important to this delegation that we continue to do that. And Dr. Washington, you said that uh, the investment in PG County, the money from the casino is going to PG County. How does that affect Baltimore City? Oh, no, I was just like, there, it's there, um, so there was a negotiation between um, uh, whatever amount, so we have our fixed casino, so Baltimore City is building a casino, I'm sure many of you have seen that. Um, uh, and so in, in, in order to have a six casino, Baltimore City of course was concerned that we might lose some of our revenue because we had uh, stipulated that some proportion of that should go to our local, local support. Amen. So, in, so part of the deal is that should Baltimore City experience some loss in revenues, that anything ab above that would come out of the Prince George's County casino revenues off the top, Amen. that would go and reimburse of Baltimore City for table games, specifically for table games. So um, it's not about uh, that we're supporting Prince George's County, it's that we negotiated as part of the, you know, what we do in Annapolis to uh, make sure that local jurisdictions get what they need. Uh, we made sure that we were being held harmless. Thank you for that question. And uh, first of all, let me just say that we've already changed the rules about program open space. And I think there's probably someone here named Bruce McPerkins who probably doesn't like what we do. We let Baltimore City use their program open space money for recreation. Mm -hmm. It pays for it pays for twenty-five percent of their budget. Okay? And we've allowed other counties to use it for recreation. So truth is program open space money is the funder, major funder for our uh, our recreation. Secondly, that $1.1 billion for schools in the city, if you go to the program design uh, meetings all around the city, you will find that we are fighting for recreation centers as a part of that school design. And we are fighting for continuing education for even adults as a part of that school design. That's the answer, I believe, uh, to the question posed. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. So, Baltimore City is, uh, in, in my correct reading of this, is actually doing some good things. They're spending $19 million over the last couple of years. Um, not being a legislator that's active in the General Assembly right now, I can't specifically go to certain bills and say this is where the money comes from. Or those two. Uh, we need to support rec centers, period. These are our children, they need to have activities on an athlete, they need to have uh, an active lifestyle. Um, I really, when you say this many times, we need philanthropy. We need to get philanthropy involved with our community uh, revitalization, and we need to get philanthropy involved with these rec centers. And uh, frankly, I'd like to get philanthropy involved with some charter schools too. So if we can take a little of the money that uh, some wealthy individuals, I mean, we've got the creative under armor that lives in our state, that we yeah. under armor in our state, and uh, we can get them to slide money in certain places and take the debt burden off us, uh, and absolutely, this is a revenue should be gone for children. Well, in addition to everything that everyone else has said, one thing that we have to remember is that it is our problem. Recreation is part of the way the kids learn to grow in addition to their education. I think that many of us People sitting in this room, people sitting up here, should be involved themselves Amen. with recreation. Amen. Be a coach for a little league. You know, help referee a lacrosse game. Start a swimming team or, or anything that you think that you have an interest in, that kids may have an interest in as well. Even if we significantly increase the recreation spending for all of our city, it still won't cover all the kids. It still will not cover all the kids. So some of the things that are being done, almost like my colleague here was saying, is getting more people involved. There's now midnight basketball again. Amen. There's a lacrosse league down in Moral Park. There's a Northwood baseball league that I served on on the board for at least 15 years where my children went. 
So when your children go out for recreation, go out with them. Yeah. Coach them, umpire, yeah. help out, volunteer. That will help solve some of the problems in addition to the monies that we need to raise. Amen. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Chris. I'm not sure I need to accept the premise of the question to begin with. Um, my, my understanding is that a huge amount of the money, the revenue coming in from the casinos, is going to the state school system, and a good chunk of that then comes into Baltimore for Baltimore schools. What I suspect the person who wrote the question is upset about is that over the years, we have been told that the lottery money is going to schools, and then it doesn't feel like we have as much money as we need in the schools. And one of the things that has been a problem, I'm not there right now to say whether or not it's still a problem, but perhaps uh, the people at the table will add to this. Um, but one of the things that has been a problem in the past is when the new money from the lottery came in, the old money from our taxes came out the bottom, and that money went somewhere else. And so we continued to have money for education, but it was coming, if it is coming from the casinos. Thank you. That's a great question. Um, and we have a great answer for you. Um, part of the $1 million bond, $20 million a year is coming directly, directly out of lottery, state lottery proceeds. So $20 million of that, I believe $103 million that Baltimore City residents spend is going directly into paying for the bond to fund our schools. So um, again, I, I think the, the sentiment of the question is concerned that maybe there's a sense that over time, uh, there was a range of expenses that, that those funds were used for, but again, uh, if you look at the percentage of those funds that went, they absolutely went to education. Not necessarily as much as we want or we need, but the vast majority of those funds were invested into the education trust fund. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I would say uh, one, I think for the person who asked the question probably is thinking about the lottery. And in fact, it kind of got scanned a few years ago. Uh, we, that's why when the casinos and the gambling came in, we made sure we didn't get scammed again. We put what we wanted in the law. But I would point out that the major reason that we passed the Katie in Maryland was to save the horse industry. And uh, it's working. Uh, so, uh, Purses are up. I don't know if you noticed, but if you went to the Freakness the other day, they had a whole new look to that uh, Freakness event that is really positive for America to see. And whether or not you like horse racing or not, uh, that day brings in more Pimlico than all the rest of the days of the year. So uh, we did uh, make sure that we got the money this time dedicated uh, in the Amy Bill. To education. Thank you. So, being independent, I was a little confused on this situation a couple of years back. Um, we had a referendum. Uh, we're collecting over $60 million a month on these accounts. Uh, X portion of that is going to education. Like Mr. Henry pointed out, they took that money and then decided that we could spend it elsewhere. So, without making any accusations or whatnot, I was a little befuddled by that. I feel like that, that was a mis misinterpretation of where that money was supposed to be going. So is gaming a good thing? I personally don't have a problem with it. It does create revenue. We do need to make sure that, that the revenue uh, was not inserted and then allowed to keep the budget exactly where it was and then spend it on other things. We spent $7.4 billion to run our state government. That's just salaries, that's just pensions, that's just health benefits. Uh, we need to downsize all of that. This was supposed to be a hot ticket to, to save us some money, and frankly, it's crystal so sad. Thank you. Thank you. Could uh, you repeat the question, please? Yes. Hamlin is raising a lot of money. Why is it more of a Well, part of the reason that all the money that 
Christ Motor Schools is because there were so many different groups of people in Annapolis that wanted a piece of pie. And they were fighting over it like, like, like it was a sale going on. Uh, the horse racing industry said, please support it, we'll give you support. Uh, the unions wanted it to be supported because of more jobs in different areas. There were many of us who felt that all the money should go to, to education. So we hammered out a compromise. A compromise is never a pretty thing. It's never what you want, it's never what the other side wants. When you come away, the compromise ends up being slicing the pie in certain directions. What we were able to do, though, this year in Annapolis was to make sure, as Delegate McIntosh said, that if we promise that some of the money, or a considerable amount of the money, was going to go to public schools, that it would go to public schools. And we put into this uh, bill that, that passed, that you all ended up voting for, the fact that money would be going to public schools. But if it had my way, obviously, more money would be going, probably all of it, will go to public schools. What the compromise was, where the money went, so I don't have anything additional to add to it because it's in law. Thank you so much. So, what would you do to combat climate change? We're going to start with. 